Hey everybody and welcome back. So what is up? Um, I haven't done a video like this in so long. I feel like the last time I filmed a TBR was July of last year and I am so sorry. I'm gonna exit frame in shame. But yeah, in all seriousness, some of you might be asking what the fuck? And if you're not asking that, then you're probably new. Um, in which case, you must stay. Hello, it's nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you. I am notorious for being extremely against TBRs because I am a mood reader, like a super mood reader. I will be watching somebody else's TBR slash wrap up or be scrolling through Bookstagram and if a cover looks pretty, if a story looks interesting, if somebody whose opinion I value above all else gives the book a five star rating, I'm going to find a way to get it on the spot, okay? So yeah, not a huge TBR person, never follow them, don't like them, don't like making them. They're just not the vibe. But for some reason, I woke up this morning, I don't know what it was, but I was like, you know what? I could use a bit of structure in life. I could use a bit of, you know, organization, maybe a bit of, you know, planning and structure and, you know, just Virgo shit because I am the worst Virgo to ever Virgo in the world, literally no organizational skills. So I have a list that I literally just made a while ago um, of several books that I would like to read within this month as a person. And yeah, I'm gonna run through the list. I'm gonna tell you what they're about, assuming I bothered to look them up. And if I don't remember the plot, tough shit. All right, can you tell that I'm really good at this? So the first book I'm gonna talk to you about is my ass. Sorry, my phone fell. <laughs> So the first book I want to read this month is X-Men, Codename Wolverine. This is not a comic book, although these characters are from the comic book. No, this is like an actual novel written by Christopher Golden. So the reason I want to read this book was because when I was seven years old, I was the biggest X-Men fan, right? My favorites being Rogue and Nightcrawler. Comment down below who your favorite X-Men is. Maybe we can have like a, you know, a thing. I don't know, a thing together. One's favorite X-Men does say a lot about them. So yeah, Rogue and Nightcrawler are my faves. When I was growing up, one of my favorite cartoons was X-Men Evolution, Cartoon Network, Good Times, Fun Stuff. Recently watched all the episodes of this show all over again, just like a year ago. Anyway, so about the book. So when I was seven years old, I was in school one day and I was in the library, and I saw a copy of this book. I was like, you know what? I know how to read books. I have read a series of unfortunate events. Um, I can totally do this, you know? Little did my innocent self know that some books were for adults, some you just can't read at that age. And I was just not smart enough to read that book. I had no fucking idea what was happening. Like, I saw the names of the people. I was like, okay, oh, Mystique, Sabretooth, this is awesome! I don't know what's going on! <laughs> so, recently I was just like, you know what, dude? You owe it to your seven-year-old self to read this book, finally. Make it happen in your life! So yeah, this is apparently a book for grown-ass people because it follows the format of a Cold War espionage mission. Words I could not spell when I was that age. So yeah, this whole Cold War setting does sound really fun. Um, trivia, my favorite X-Men movie ever of all time, the one I think is the best is X-Men First Class. This is like the best freaking X-Men movie ever. And it's got those vibes. And this book has those vibes. So I just kind of hope it lives up and I just hope I don't hate it. It is about time this book gets read, okay? All right, so the next book I'm going to read is a graphic novel and that is Crossed by Garth Ennis. I don't know much about this beyond the fact that it has come up in many, you know, super disturbing lists. So basically this graphic novel is set in a time when the world has been completely overrun by homicidal maniacs and they're infected with this virus that puts like a cross on their face. Those people are called the crossed. Now they're not zombies, but rather they are people who become, you know, super into causing violence. Like it makes you really want to do it. So. Crazy shit happens, I can only assume. I googled it and the images on Google Images were gnarly as fuck. So this book has been described as ruthless, berserk, evil beyond measure. Translation, yes, now, 
Give it to me, please. So yeah, we follow a small band of survivors and they are linked together with the determination to survive and seek it out till the end. Will they? I don't freaking know. I just hope, <laughs> I kind of hope they don't because like I do want to see what these cross people will do when they get their hands on them, but that's just me. Okay, so the next book I would like to read is True Crime by Samantha Kolesnik. I have heard about this in many a horror circle. This is an indie horror book and it sounds really interesting to me. It's been recommended by people who do read pretty gnarly stuff, so we'll see how this goes. We basically follow this brother and this sister. They have this abusive mom. I think early on they managed to escape that situation. I don't know how but they manage to get away from the bitch. And they go on this cross-country road trip that results in murder, okay? Leads to a crime spree, very Badlands. If you haven't seen that film, it's the very first film directed by Terrence Malick. So, great film. The plot of this book is kind of giving me those vibes, so we'll see how that goes. Hoping for the best and expecting the worst, but not in the way that you think, because I really want bad shit to happen in this book. It better fucking live up to the hype, okay? Okay. All right, so the next book I would like to read is one that I have been seeing a lot on Bookstagram, and that is Goddess of Filth by V. Castro. I believe this book is about like an exorcism. We follow like five best friends. They're having a sleepover. They decide to perform a seance, you know? Typical bestie sleepover things. Do our nails, talk about boys summon the dead, what could go wrong? <laughs> Shit goes wrong, apparently. And if it didn't, I would not be interested. All right, so naturally things go as you would expect them to go. Shit goes down, I can only assume shit goes down. We'll see what happens, it's short. I should get through it pretty quick and have my thoughts soon. Thinking of reading this uh, as part of a secret TBR, so we'll see how that goes. And yeah, if you've read this book, let me know what you thought. Do that, thank you. All right, so the next two books, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to both of these this month, but I wanna get to one of them for sure. And that would be either Clown Hunt or Torture the Sinners by Judith Sonnet. So Judith is an indie horror author who writes extreme horror, and she has been so nice. She has been gifting me all these free books, and of course, I wanna read them. I want to talk about them over here to repay the kindness. I don't wanna know what they're about, though. And this is because I read her previous book called For the Sake Of, this one, and it was so fucking good. It was gory, it was bloody, it was fast-paced, it was brutal, it was so intense. I absolutely had a freaking blast. And I went into that book fresh, so I wanna go into these two knowing as little as humanly possible and just see how they go. Just see what the vibes are, just see what goes on. So I read for the sake of for one of my vlogs, one of my reading most disturbing horror vlogs, and that was the best book I read that vlog. So I know that I'm in good hands with these two. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so the next book I wanna read is Born to Bleed by Ryan C. Thomas. This book is the sequel to The Summer I Died. I, I can't believe it. I, I, it's not just a sequel. Um, I looked it up and these two books are part of a series called The Roger Huntington Saga. Multiple books, like, this is, has gotta be one of the most unlucky protagonists I've ever read from because Oh my goodness. So I don't know if this picks up right after the events of The Summer I Died because that book, oh my gosh, Roger, poor Roger. <laughs> Spoiler alert, he lives at the end of that book, which is why we have a saga called the Roger Huntington Saga. Duh. I'm not gonna say the fate of the other people, but let's just say that Roger is not doing well. He's not doing well. The Summer I Died and Pen Pal are the scariest books I have ever read in my entire life. Those two books really freaked me out the most. So I'm quite excited, but hesitant to see where this story goes. To be honest, I don't know what the storyline is. I would love to go in fresh because mainly I just want to have reassurance that Roger had some semblance of a life outside of that basement because, oh boy, Boy oh boy. But I'm, I'm in, I'm ready, I'm, we're gonna do this. This month, we are gonna fucking do this. Hold me accountable, I need to read this book this month because I need to read the, this book this month. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, so the next book I plan on reading is The Paris Apartment by Lucy Folly. And this author 
previously wrote the guest list, which is, I think, the earliest video on this channel. I'd have to check, but like, I think that's the first one. I think it is. I might need to do a full video on the Paris apartment to just, you know, commemorate my very first video. Maybe a drunk review, maybe just like a dedicated chill sit down. Let me know what you want to see. A vlog? What do you want? Let me know. Tell me how I can serve you. But yeah, I don't really know what this book is about. I do know that I saw it on Gabby's TBR and I was just like, I need to get that. Also, I think she's discussing it for her book club at the end of the month, so it would be nice to participate. Okay, so another book I want to read this month is The Consumer by Michael Girard. And this is a book that I have seen on TikTok, and the people who featured this book are people that I get extreme horror book recommendations from. They said that they couldn't read it. They said that they had to DNF this one because it was super freaking disturbing. And I'm just like, what? I need this in my freaking life. I mean, let's be real, whenever a book is described as gross, disgusting, unethical, morally depraved, I am the first in line. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Trivia. Apparently, this book is super rare. Like, super freaking rare. Apparently, physical copies of this book are super expensive because they don't publish it anymore. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure I can get the ebook, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that is it for this month. Look, real talk, if I manage to read at least half of this, that's a success, okay? Because I never stick to my TBR. So, yeah, I mean, let me know if you plan on reading any of these. They're all pretty short, so I think I can do this. I think I can do this. I think I can do this, okay? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and comment and subscribe. I hope to see you in future videos. And as always, take care. I lose myself